What's up guys? So I'm in the trailer and I have a bunch of cabinets in on that side. I've only got uh, one goofy one left to build and I'm getting ready to start laying out what I am calling the kitchen um, up front, which is where the fridge and the microwave and maybe like a coffee pot and pizza. Oven. I don't even know. We'll see how, how decadent the uh, the kitchen gets, but trying to start laying that out so I can see how my last cabinet's going to fit. And I decided I might as well start building the rough in for the kitchen, like as far as the cabinets go. But I didn't want to have to try and wire everything in the cabinet. So uh, I want to talk real quick about some wiring stuff that I have going on so that when we finish up the wiring part of all these videos, you guys will kind of have an understanding of, uh, of what I'm talking about. So I'll, uh, I'll show you what I got going on. So I built a carcass for this. I still have to drop in my dados and build my drawers, but I'm trying to see how this last cabinet's going to fit out. This is only 18, 19 inches, I think, that I have left um, after the long run here. So um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how this is going to work because this cabinet would die in like somewhere up here in the center of that board. Um, if you kind of see, like if you were to sight straight, it would be in between those two screws there. So um, what I'm looking at is I have some lines on the floor and my lines on the floor kind of also dead end for the kitchen at that same spot. So I'm trying to see if I can do something up here uh, to get everything so that the countertop kind of flows. So um, if I'm gonna build this, I wanted to get some of the wiring stuff kind of tied up. So uh, what I did was I have a list up here of all the stuff. Um, so we've got speakers, we've got uh, light supplies, uh, we have interior light supplies, other junk, right? So basically this is all the 12 volt stuff and I need to ground all of the 12 volt stuff to the frame. So what I did was this is just a like extra bus bar uh, from an Eaton panel, I believe. Um, anyway, two self tappers into the frame. And then what I will do is I have my battery tied to the frame and I'll tie the ground to the battery so everything is all tied together and grounded. So then I just real quick whipped this thing up on the table saw. I'm calling this a wire comb, if you will. Um, I kind of got the idea and inspiration for that off of um, PCs, like guys that build custom PCs because they have the little wire combs to keep all of the wire harnesses for the different components all organized and pretty. And I thought this would be a nice way to organize my stuff. So, um, I have somewhere I had a little, oh, I lost it, but I, I put all the wires in their perspective spots. So I've got a couple openings. I've got two up here. This, I'm going to put all four speakers in these two, which are just kind of out of my way right now. And then I've got two for the front supply on the interior lights and one here open for the front supply of the bench lights. And then I think this might be an extra. So I cut 16 of these and now what I'm going to do is I cut a piece of wood. I don't know where I put it. I'll pause. Here it is. So anyway, I cut a piece of wood. And what I'm going to do is just take the pinner and I'm going to pin this on to keep all of the wires in their perspective homes. And then I can start chasing, I can start splitting all these wires and I can chase the grounds down and tie them into this bus bar that is mounted up to the trailer. So then I will only have to hook the positives up to the power station and the power station will go in the face of the cabinet here. So I can leave myself enough of a whip on each of these wires for all of my positives to be able to come into the back of the panel and get hooked up. So that's my plan anyway. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh man, the light's going to die. Uh, anyway, so these are the grounds here. So I put all of the, uh, I, I oriented all of the 
wires so that the positive is on this side, the negative is on that side or the ground. And uh, I'm gonna start chasing all of these uh, down and onto my little ground bar. Um, because there's gonna be a lot of grounds, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to double every single one, which kind of sucks, but should work out all right. Uh, and then these are all my positives, which I'm gonna leave like that because when we get the power station in, I'll be able to uh, chase all of these through the back of the power station and do all that stuff from the front. So I should be able to keep everything in this little compartment back here pretty clean and organized. So i um, gonna use some of these zip times with the little screw spot. No, stop it. This is why I need to get this electric done. Um, I'm gonna use some of these to kind of hold all of this stuff in a nice organized fashion for me and then start hooking them all up. Alrighty, so we have all of the positives just kind of coiled up and out of the way. And then I tried to keep all of the grounds as tidy as I could. Um, like I said, uh, these are all double tapped because I only have uh, 10 slots here and there's a lot going on. So um, I'm still gonna have to tie this to the battery uh, slash ground with like a big wire. And then that leaves me three left. And I think I've got like, uh, the radio yet to ground. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. There's something, but basically it came down to each one of these is going to be double tapped except for like two maybe. So, um, but that should get me plenty of good ground here. I've got good contact to the actual trailer itself via the self tappers. Um, so I think everything should uh, ground out pretty decent. So, that's uh, a little a little carpenter's trick, I guess. Uh, I've never tried to make a wire comb before, but this will kind of keep everything nice and neat. And now that everything is locked in place, um, when I go start chasing it all into the power station, I've got my list here, and I know what's what because of the slots that they're in. And I will just take the last couple things that I have to chase through, and I can just slide them in from this side. So um, not too bad. I will uh, keep on moving. Now I'm going to start in on the kitchen. All right, that's going to wrap this video up. That was just, uh, I wanted to jump in real quick and get that talked about because as soon as I build the kitchen cabinet, as I'm calling it, for my fridge and whatnot to mount up there, uh, none of that stuff is probably going to be visible, so uh, then I would be talking about it, and you guys wouldn't know what I was talking about, so you can reference back to this video, and that should help. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, the ground setup, and if you think that'll work or not. It's kind of all experimental here. Um, doing my best. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're signing off.